Hi guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 52 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video, I solve a numerical from previous gate question paper. Okay, so this actually um, talks about the topic CRSS. Okay, so from now on, what we are actually planning is to take questions, some of the difficult questions from you guys. So instead of concepts, we are getting many uh, questions to be asked. So what we thought is, of course, uh, some important concepts will definitely cover. But apart from it, we are also planning to, you know, cover some important numerical types. Okay. So please do send us your queries on our, uh, you know, email ID or Instagram. Okay? So that we can uh, make some, you know, videos based on that. Right. So now let's get started. So this is a question that we have over here, which is telling a single crystal copper is oriented such that the tensile axis is parallel to the zone axis of these two planes. Okay, so for that you need to know what is a zone axis. So what a zone axis means is the direction which is common to these two planes. So let's find out that. So how to do it? So let's say we have the zone axis to be U V W. This will be equal to the cross product of the two planes that we have. So cross product you can easily do using this particular debt correct so on solving it what you get you get uh, 1 into i so minus of minus will be plus j 1 into j and this is minus uh, plus k into 1 plus 1 so plus 2k right so this is 1 1 2 direction so this is my zone axis okay so the first part of the question is done so the zone axis is clear so now what they are telling you is the tensile axis that you have is actually parallel to the zone axis and we know that the directions which are parallel to each other have same indices correct we know that so this you can directly take this as my tensile axis right okay this is fine so now let's move on to the question if the crss is 1 mpa for the given uh, you know slip system of FCC of course that is copper if Sigma equal to 3 MPa what slip system will be activated and you got four different options okay so how to go about so let's quickly know what is CRSS so CRSS is the minimum amount of resolved shear stress that you need on a particular slip plane so that slip will take place so tau CRSS will be equal to what Sigma cos phi cos lambda if you remember what is cos phi cos lambda it is also called as mid factor but cos phi and cos lambda are nothing but the cosines of the angles between the tensile axis and the slip direction and the other one is the tensile axis and the plane normal okay so which is nothing but the angles you have to calculate between my tensile axis and the given slip systems right and uh, if you just recall what i just said i was telling that crss is the minimum amount of shear stress that means this particular right hand side if this right hand side is greater than the crss of a material of that particular slip system then slip will take place so how i can write it i can write this as sigma into cos phi into cos lambda Okay, this is the resolved shear stress on a particular slip plane. This should be greater than the CRSS that is there for that slip system. Correct? Fine. This is okay. Now, we know sigma is 3 MPa and uh, tau is 1 MPa. So, from here you got a simple mathematical condition that cos phi into cos lambda should be greater than 1 by 3 simple. So now just take 1, 1, 2 and take all the four options and try to you know verify it. So let's do for the fourth option. Okay. So we have got 1, 1 bar, 1 bar, 1, 0, 1 and you got 1, 1, 2. So let me quickly do it. So cos phi, cos theta is again nothing but h1, h2 plus k1, k2 plus l1, l2 divided by root over h1 square plus k1 square plus l1 square into root over h2 square plus k2 
2 square plus L2 square, right? So we know that formula already, right? So cos theta equal to so in H2 plus K1, K2 plus L2 divided by root of H1 square plus K1 square plus L1 square into root of H2 square plus K2 square plus L2 square. Okay, we know we know that formula. So we are using that only. So cos phi is what again the zone axis or the tensile axis is 1, 1, 2, and I'm doing it with the fourth option. Okay. So 1 minus 1 minus 2. Of course, we are doing the mod of it, that means we need a positive value divided by root of 3 into root of 1 plus 1 plus 4 root 6 into the other one. This will be 1 plus 2 divided by this is root 2 and that is root 6. So we have uh, if we cancel this mod of minus 2 is 2, 2 into 3 is 6, and again that will be cancelled by my root 6 into root 6 is 6 so we have left with 1 by root 3 into root 2 okay so let me quickly calculate what is the value that you are getting so 1 divided by root 2 divided by root 3 and this is equal to 0 0.408 yeah simple so yeah d is the answer simply because what is 1 by 3 1 by 3 is what 0 0.333 correct and the fourth option we got cos lambda into cos phi is 0 0.408 so straight away i can mark my option as d as simple as that all right so this is how you have to go about this formula so what we did we don't know the tensile axis but the given information is the tensile axis is actually parallel to the zone axis so we have calculated the zone axis from the two planes that we got then we thought about how we can use crss formula okay so crss is the minimum amount of stress that is required in a particular slip system so from that we have made an equality like this and from there we have made a cos phi cos lambda that is the smith factor must be greater than 1 by 3 this is the formula that we have generated and now we know lambda and phi easily from the tensile axis and the given options and you can easily verify with it then which all is satisfying my condition will be your answer remember this time you have ms close multiple select questions that means you can have more than one option so don't blindly say that if a is correct and not check the others you will be losing if you are actually not doing that because who knows d is also answer a is also answer let's say right so from this year at least you can use this verify game you know option game but try to actually solve and verify with all the options okay so that it will be beneficial right so yeah that's it for this video yeah again one more important thing that i want to mention is the discount which we gave in the last week is still available so people who are actually interested for the crash course can still avail it because you know uh, we got a very good response so we will be closing it soon so if at all someone is interested do check out our website everythingmetrology.com and also do check out our test series also right so that's it for this video meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you guys